So first one we send it from the cloud and second message we send it from the postman, right? Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to set up the WhatsApp Cloud API and after we set up the WhatsApp Cloud API then we will going to send the message from the WhatsApp Cloud to the WhatsApp number. After that we will going to see WhatsApp Cloud API collection and what are the APIs and how we can use them and how we can send the request from the postman to the WhatsApp. Here I am going to search Facebook for developers. You can see developers.facebook.com right so you can see meta for developers right actually facebook changed the name from the facebook to the meta so i just click this one okay so after you click the link you can able to check developers.facebook.com right so you can see in the right top there are one option called my apps right just click the my apps so after you click the my apps actually i already sign up with my facebook account so if you don't have sign up with your facebook account just click and sign up so i already sign up so after that you can able to see right there are one option called create apps right just click that one you can see we have to select the option among these categories right so among these categories in order to work with the whatsapp cloud api you have to select the business one so i select this one and you can see click next option so you can see we have to provide a basic information here right so here we want to give display name right so i just click here so after that you can see app contact email right so this is my email address and after that business account right so if you have any buts of business accounts you can select from this drop down but i don't want to select the previous one i just going to create a new one so i don't select this one and i keep it as it is no business manager account selected and i just click create app so here it's asking to re-enter your password so i am going to give password here so after that you can see add products to your app right so this is our meta for developers dashboard so you can see dashboard right so just scroll down and see this is the api we will going to set up so this is the whatsapp cloud api so i just click the setup so you can see here we have to choose create or select meta business account so i just click the drop down and you can choose whatever you want so i'm going to give test business and i just click continue so after i click continue you can see the getting started page is available right now right so in this page you can see the first option temporary access token and second one send and receive message so as we discussed before so as of now we set up the whatsapp cloud right so this is a whatsapp cloud you can see in the whatsapp getting started and second one is a configuration third one is a resources right so as of now we completed first one and second one is send the message from cloud to the whatsapp you can see in the right side for the understanding purpose i connected my mobile phone into the right side using visor this is kind of mirror so you can see lively first we are set up right so then you can see send and receive messages so here this is the sender's mobile number so this is provided by this api the second one is a mobile number we have to send the request so here i click this one so i already attach the mobile number here for the demonstration purpose i am going to click the add phone number here i select sri lanka lk and the mobile number so after that i am going to click next So I receive one message. So you can see Facebook business. I open this one. You can see the code, right? 25380. So I just click next. You can see I have successfully added the receiver's mobile number, right? So that's all. Here I have to click the send message. 
So if I click the send message, let's see what will going to happen. I just click send message. You can see successfully send message. And if I click this one, I can able to see this is a message I received. Please make sure to subscribe my channel and give some motivation to me. And third one, send it from the postman. So you can see, I so now I am going to click close the visor girl request. This is the first request. This is a header we have to attach, and this is the authorization that is bearer, and this is the token, right? Actually, this is the token. And after that, so in the header, you can see in the content type is application JSON type. So this is a data, right? You can see data is a JSON type. So now we are going to send the request from the postman to the WhatsApp. So there are two options. One is run in postman. So you can click this one, but you can see in the right top there are one option called copy right so i copy this one and so whenever you see the this kind of curl request right see you are a request you just can copy this one and go to that postman you can see import right in the postman you can see import i just click the import and you can see in the fourth option row text right if i click the row text you can see paste the row text here so i just paste here so after i paste this one I just click continue so you can see the name is this one and format is CURL and the import as request I just import this one so after I import this one so I am going to click this one so actually for my devices I open my visor so visor is a uh, Sophia which is help to uh, mirroring your mobile phones or tablets i just run this one you can see there are two messages right so first one we send it from the cloud and second message we send it from the postman right so as i discussed before i can send the request and you can see these are the response types right so and another thing i'm going to tell you guys so this is just for the example to send the message only one message right so i again go to that Google Chrome and you can see run in postman right if you click this one right that will open a postman in your web browser so then you have to give your credential to login in the postman so this is my post postman so I just click my workspace so we you have to choose your workplace so workplace is nothing you can see here so this is my workplace currently I am in the postman so I just click for collection so after you fork your collection actually you can see I expand this one right cloud API so here they mention all the APIs and all the documentation right so if you want you can click the example see send the sample message right so if you click this one send the sample message so they are providing all the information right you can see in the headers or the registration token in the body these are the parameters we have to mention if you expand you can see the type right send shipping confirmation template right so they are providing as a template right so if you use this one you will get get a nice ui right so from the next video i am going to create a mobile or web application from that web application i am going to send the message from the app to the other whatsapps you guys see right so only one percentage of people are subscribed to my channel right and please make sure to subscribe my channel and thank you so much guys thanks a lot